ready? Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys like my new commercial. Like I told you guys several weeks ago, I did a huge product photo shoot for the lovely tea line. So now I'm able to take the pictures and, you know, put them into a little commercial. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I also want to remind everybody, because I did post it on Instagram and on Facebook, please follow lovely tea, L-O-V-E-L-Y-T-E-A, on Instagram. That's the new Instagram page for the T line. You guys have been asking for it. So we finally put it together and I hired somebody to run the site. So I'm really happy everything's coming together. It's 2019. And honey, I'm here to make some damn moves, okay? So I've been kind of under the weather. I know y'all have been hitting me up like T, you gotta talk about the whole Jordan Woods situation. And I want to get these videos out because I'm going on a trip this week. I'm going out of town. So I want to get as much content out before I leave. But anyways, so if you guys do not know, unless you've been living under damn rock honey jordan woods decided to announce the other day that she's gonna be on the red table talk with jada pinkett smith so she did this dramatic ass walk through honey sat at the table and then just stared at the camera like yes bitch i'm ready to spill all the damn tea okay y'all go ahead and check this out All right, so you guys just watched her dramatic moves. So yesterday, she did do the interview with Jada Pinkett Smith, and like I told you guys in my video that I shot in LA, that Will Smith claims her as her niece, and they were able to break down their connection. They've known Jordan Woods' father, who was a sound engineer on The Fresh Prince. They've known him for years, so they are very, very close. And like Will and Jada said, this entire scandal is affecting three families, Jordan's family, the Smiths, and the Kardashians, okay? So this entire situation was crazy. It was very very interesting I watched the full interview twice okay and so this is what I got from the interview I will say this I do respect Jordan for taking responsibility for the part that she played in the whole scenario but I also feel deep down inside a lot of this is bullshit okay First and foremost, I'm gonna need everybody to stop calling Jordan Woods a little girl. Granted, she's younger than Chloe, Malika, and Kim who keep bullying her, but she's not a little girl. One thing I've noticed is that when it's a little black girl from the hood, oh, she's grown, she's fast. But because Jordan comes off as soft-spoken and sweet, Everybody wants to keep saying she's a little girl. No, she's a grown woman who made a grown woman decision, okay? She said that she went to a party, she had been drinking all night, and then she happened to show up at Christian Thompson's house, and she didn't know that it was his house. But my thing is, if Christian and Chloe were together, why the hell does he have his own separate house? But Jordan kept saying in that interview that Tristan was Chloe's ex. So basically confirming what everybody has been saying, that Tristan and Chloe have been broken up, but that she didn't want the world to know that, okay? So she says that she was drunk, you know, she ran into Tristan. She did not sit on his lap, but that she had her legs dangled on his legs and that she basically had her legs on his lap so she could see why that kind of looks suspicious to some people. There was no lap dance involved, but what I can think as to why someone would say that, there was a chair here, a couch, and another chair. Got it. It's all filled. Got it. So he's sitting in this chair, and there's an arm of the chair that goes up about here. Okay. And I'm sitting on the arm of the chair. So you come into the party, and you look, and you see me sitting on the chair. In my head, this is innocent. You know, like, we're all drinking, we're all chilling. There's no way it would look like a lap dance, but I could see why people would say, oh, they're getting cozy. Mm-hmm. Did you have your arm around him? No. Okay. But my legs were... We're laying right over his. Got it. Okay. My butt was never sitting on him. But your legs were, so he but was. But my legs were dangling down, so I picked them up and I put them over. And then she also stated that basically the next morning, because um, she ended up staying there till 7 a.m., which is why a lot of people think that she hooked up with Christian Thompson. So she said that the next morning they did not hook up, but that he did reach in and they did kiss, okay? And that she takes full responsibility for that. And she said that this was wrong and she knew it was wrong. Right. And 
on the way out, he did kiss me. No. And what do you mean by kiss? It's just no passion, no nothing on the way out. He just kissed me and and like a tongue kiss, like a peck on the lips, peck on the like a No, it it was like a kiss on the lips, but no tongue kiss, no making out. Got it. Nothing. And I don't think that he's wrong either because I allowed myself to be in that position. And when alcohol's involved, people make, you know, dumb moves or people get caught up in the moment or who knows. Right. Did you have any understanding possibly of why he would do that or? I'm there until the sun's coming up. <laughs> right. So he's like, he's like, right. you know, maybe let me just, let me just shoot sure. my shot. She should have been honest with the Kardashians. And Jada asked her, well, did you keep this away from Chloe because you didn't want to hurt her? And she said part of it was yes. That's why she kept it from Chloe. Another part of it was that she was scared. I was honest about being there, but I wasn't honest about the actions that had taken place. Did you think you were trying to protect their relationship at that time? I just knew how much turmoil was going on that I was like, let me not just throw more fuel on the fire. But my thing is this, this is where I'm kind of reading through the bullshit, okay? So if it was so innocent, had she just explained that to Chloe, Chloe may have been mad. It wouldn't have got to the point that it got to. So for her to not just explain that simple kiss and to just say, you know, what happened, especially to her best friend Kylie, that to me looks suspicious. Like, was there more than just a kiss? Another thing that bothers me is I don't understand how these people get so comfortable with other people's boyfriends, husbands, babies, daddies, and everything else, okay? I know for me, I don't like being left alone with my friends as man, husband, none of that shit, okay? If I'm going to go see my friend and she's not there and her husband's like, oh, well, she'll be here in about 10 minutes, you can come and sit down. Oh, no, that's cool. I'm going to just go wait in the car. I will sit in the car until my friend gets it because I don't want there to be no type of, you know, innuendos, no type of suspicions. I don't want him looking at these big old titties, thinking nothing. I'd rather just sit in the car and distance myself. So I don't understand, like, you know, why she felt so comfortable to dangle her legs onto his. Granted, she was drunk, but I'm, that's still not excusing the behavior, okay? Because, again, two people can be drunk. And if they have sex and the woman says that it wasn't consensual, guess what? He can still be locked up. So miss with the drunk talk, okay? I'm talking just in specifics. That didn't sit well with me. And then the fact that he felt so comfortable to kiss his baby's mother's sister's best friend says a lot. Had there been some flirting going on? Had there been some sexual tension going on? You know, the whole story, I feel like there was a lot of holes missing. I did feel like she was being honest in a lot of parts. But I felt like, you know, once I got done watching the tabletop, I just felt like, okay, what else? I felt like the, like the whole truth was not coming out, okay? I felt like she was still trying to cover up stuff and that she was walking on a very thin line because as we all know, to hang with the Kardashians, to be a part of their clan, you have to sign NDAs. And Kris Jenner don't play that shit. She will take your ass to court no matter how broke you are. You could be eating some damn beans in your mom's basement. You say some slanderous shit about her daughters, she will take you to court. So everybody around them has to sign NDAs. So I feel like she was not telling everything that happened and she was definitely walking lightly because she doesn't want to affect that NDA and possibly be sued and then she even was sympathetic towards Chloe and was telling people not to bully Chloe and that you know Chloe's going through it as well she kept talking very sympathetic to Chloe even though Chloe Kim and the others had no sympathy for her at all trying to protect Chloe's heart yeah she doesn't deserve this either right you know people have even dehumanized her in this situation to where they don't, they can't feel for her. Right. And it's not fair right. that she has to deal with this either. Right. And the last thing I wanted to do was be that person. I'm no home wrecker. Right. I would never try to hurt someone's home. Right. Especially someone that I love. Right. Honey. All right, so you guys just watched that. So now, of course, once that video went viral and everybody was talking about it, Red Table Talk was trending yesterday, Jordan Woods, Tristan Thompson, Chloe. 
Chloe then took to her social media page and basically went off on Jordan, called Jordan Woods a liar. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Chloe says, why are you lying at Jordan Woods? If you're gonna try and save yourself by going public instead of calling me privately to apologize first, at least be honest about your story. By the way, you are the reason my family broke up. So then people started dragging the fuck out of Chloe. Then she came back and said this, Tristan is equally to blame, but Tristan is the father of my child. Regardless of what he does to me, I won't do that to my daughter. He has been addressing the situation privately. If Tristan were to lie publicly about what, about what conspired, then yes, I would address him publicly as well. Honey. All right, so you guys just heard what Khloe Kardashian had to say. And like I told you on Instagram, Khloe, I'm going to need you to have a tall glass of shut the fuck up, okay? This bitch has been ranting, raving, and going off all week on social media about this situation as if she did not know the type of man that she decided to lay down with and have a chat with, okay? The same way you get them is how you lose them. And in your situation, it really came back to bite you because you took him from a woman named Jordan only to lose him to another woman named Jordan with a different damn spelling okay I don't feel bad for this chick and I broke this down to you on my other video this entire family has been known to take other people's boyfriends husbands and everything else starting from the mama the OG of them starting from their OG mama Kris Jenner okay she was out here fucking OJ Rob Kardashian and Bruce Jenner before he transitioned into damn Caitlyn Jenner okay so she taught her daughters very very damn well so for her to be in her feelings okay for her to be mad because she's going through a public breakup with her baby's father cheating again for the 50th 11th time i find that very very hypocritical okay where was all this sympathy when you was fucking you know what i'm saying trina's man and i don't give a damn what french montana had to say yesterday he gonna come on to social media talking about he was single as a dollar bill well that's funny after all these years now you want to say that you were single but when you were with chloe y'all remember i pulled that tmz interview and they asked you about you living with trina all you did was laugh that's chloe this weekend on another date with rapper French Montana. Yo, French, you still cool with Trina or what, big dog? Does anybody know <laughs> <laughs> He's laughing because he betrayed her. Laugh, so why didn't you tell them back in 2013 that you're single, you didn't cheat on Trina? You didn't say that back then. But now you want to respond to Perez Hilton talking about you're single. You were not single, sir. You were living with Trina. And regardless of the situation, Trina and Chloe were cool. Chloe should have never went there, okay? Now, Miss Malika Hack, okay? I gotta get on your dog leash wearing ass, okay? And I'm embarrassed that this picture resurfaced and we see Khadija, Malika, Megan Good, Lamaya Good, all y'all wearing dog leashes and y'all got Chloe holding y'all like she's pimping y'all any damn ways. Malika, you also need to have a tall glass to shut the fuck up. I didn't get a chance to drag you in the last video because the video was damn long enough, okay? If you guys remember, I did a whole breakdown when Chink's drugs got killed. And when he got killed, everybody was sending sympathy to Malika. Because we had all thought that Chink's drug and Malika were dating. At that time, Chink's drugs and French Montana were best friends. They were always together. So, of course, it just made sense that Malika would start dating his best friend, Chink's. Well, then all of a sudden, we find out that Chink's has a whole damn wife and a family in New York. It got so bad that the wife had to come out and say, stop sending Malika condolences. I am the wife. He was married to me. Send me and my children condolences, not Malika. So I find it very funny that Malika wants to sit here and keep adding her two cents. She wants to keep dragging Jordan as if she's never done anything. And then when folks confront her, she wants to come out and say, well, I owned up to my mistakes. Bitch, when? And where? Did you ever apologize to Chink's drug's wife? Did you ever address her publicly and say that you were wrong or that you didn't know that she existed? No, you never did that. You went on about your merry way. But you know what? Karma's real and you're gonna get yours as well, okay? While you're thinking you and OT Genesis are in love in this bitch, we all know that he's fucking other people, okay? We all know he's crip walking around some other woman's house butt ass naked, okay? She walk, homie. So I'm going to need you to go sit down somewhere and stop coming for Jordan when you've done your own dirt, okay? All these women have. None of these women are innocent, including her best friend Kylie, including Kendall. None of these women are innocent. So for them to get on their high horse and want to drag her and want to keep throwing shade at her, I find that very, very funny. Also, Larissa Pippen, she tried to get involved. Her and Kim were once again on, um, on Hollywood Unlocked trolling. And so she tried to throw shade at Jordan. And my whole thing is Larissa Pippen. Um, weren't you fucking future when you were
were married to Scottie Pippen, okay, worry about your on-again, off-again relationship with your baby's father. And stop worrying so much about Khloe Kardashian and Tristan Third Trimester Thompson and Jordan Woods. Stop worrying about their fucking bootleg-ass love triangle and you figure out your own ratchet love triangle with Scottie Pippen and damn future, okay? So now when I tell you the internet was so over this situation yesterday, they were so over the Kardashians trying to play victim, Khloe trying to play victim, they started a hashtag called Free Tristan Thompson. And when I tell you, they had me cracking up in this hashtag. Black Twitter literally came together to have Jordan Woods' back and to drag the Kardashians. What more do you want from me? <laughs> So anyways, I want to go ahead and talk back about the Red Table Talk. Now, what I also found funny is that Jordan is now finally realizing basically her hierarchy in the Kardashian clan. It seems like it took this moment for her to get her nigga wake up call and for her to realize that at the end of the day, no matter how much you try and sound like a little valley girl and you try and hang with Kendall and Kylie, at the end of the day, you're a black chick and you can be replaced point blank period, okay? It's a mistake that should have been dealt with internally. Well, you know what they say, black women can be the most disregarded and disrespected creatures on the earth. You know, being a black woman in the game for so long as I've been, just seeing that without people even having heard your side and just not giving the benefit of the doubt, mm -hmm. it just always seems like it's so easy to just target black women, mm -hmm. put everything on us, even if there's other people involved. So. And it took me... <laughs> To be here, getting here, to, to, realize to feel that? it, because yeah. I saw it, but <laughs> right. I never felt it. So she definitely got her wake-up call. She definitely saw, you know, who her real friends are, how people turned on her so quickly without even hearing her side of the story. But like I said, the story still sounds like it has a lot of holes in it, because my thing is this. Had I got to the house, and this is my best friend's sister's baby daddy, my first question is, well, where's Chloe at? Where's the rest of the Kardashians? Why am I here by myself with a whole nother group of girls? You know what I'm saying? And at that point, like I said, nobody knew that Christian and Chloe weren't together. So that right there should have been suspicious. Now on top of that, if it was as innocent as she's saying that it was, why hasn't Tristan come out and defended her at all? Now he came out earlier in the week talking about this is fake news, but he's never once defended her. Kylie has been silent as well, and I don't expect her to go against her family, but when they're sitting there watching this girl get death threats, when people are saying that her father deserves to die, I think that's just so low, and it's sad that the trolling has gotten this bad, that people are so celebrity obsessed that they'll just say anything to take up for their favorite celebrity. Every time you refresh the page, it's another person bullying me or wishing death upon me or telling me something like, your father deserved to die. Wow. I may have done something wrong, but whatever I did, I don't think I deserve this. And I think the stuff that was being said to Jordan was totally out of pocket. And for Tristan not to step up and try and, you know, quell the situation and for the Kardashians to sit back and watch this, I really hope that Jordan takes this wake-up call seriously and she moves the fuck on, okay? You don't need them to be popping. You don't need them to be famous. You have your own bed. Focus on your own career. Focus on your own success. Never let anybody shit on you the way that these women have publicly, especially to some that they called a little sister, especially to some that they claim they love and you know they, they brought her in as a, as a family member that's not how you treat somebody when a situation like this happens it should have been handled privately behind closed doors and everybody should have had a round table discussion about the situation you know what I mean it should have never been brought to social media so for me like I said I still have to give this entire situation a side eye I still feel that part of this is for the damn show. I don't give a damn what she pulled out that damn glass bowl. I feel like part of this is for the show. You know what I'm saying? Part of this is a storyline because the way that everything has just come together to me just makes no sense whatsoever. Now, I will say this. Jordan is young. She's not a little girl, so y'all stop calling her that. She's a young woman, and this too shall pass, okay? But, Jordan, what you also need to realize, because I'm seeing beyond the tears and, and you know, the, the, the soft voice, I see beyond the bullshit, okay? Because at the end of the day, you are who you run with and these girls are mean girls behind the scenes these girls have a lot of issues these girls have fucked over so many women in the industry by taking their man fucking their man and all that type of stuff i think jordan learned well from hanging with these girls and watching their moves over the years but just because your friends are a pack of damn hoes doesn't mean that you have to stoop down to that level and do the same thing okay i feel like her putting her legs on christian thompson 
kissing Christian Thompson. I think that was wrong. I'm not excusing her behavior at all. Like I said, I see through the soft voice and the tears. That shit doesn't move me. I'm looking for the meat of the story, okay? And so she was dead wrong for that. But what we're not going to do is just drag her, you know what I'm saying, relentlessly, but then not give that same energy to Chloe, who has done the same thing. That's why I really respect Jordan Craig, uh, Trisha's baby's mother, because she's held her head high through this whole scandal. She lost her baby's father when she was six months pregnant. He basically left her just you know one day cold turkey and she's been having to like deal with this and watch them on the news and you know watch their so-called fairy tale relationship and Jordan Craig hasn't said anything she's never disrespected the Kardashians in public so for Chloe to not appreciate that and then want to drag Jordan Woods in public I find that very very comical because you should have been very very appreciative and prayerful and happy that Jordan Craig never blasted your ass and drug you all over social media okay at the end of the day in my opinion Chloe's in denial Tristan does not want her. He's never really wanted her, okay? He was talking to Jordan Craig. She's like some type of model, whatever. Her name does not ring bells, okay? Hell, I had to think about what the hell her last name was. Her name does not ring bells in the industry like one of the Kardashians. So to me, when Tristan got with Chloe, that was a come up for him, okay? And then, of course, when something is new and fresh, it's interesting. But once you've been dealing with somebody for a while, shit gets old. You know what I'm saying? And that's why he keeps roaming. That's why he's continuously cheating. That is in his nature. That's what he he does so for Chloe to constantly be shocked and to say that Jordan broke up her family no bitch your family was broken up when you decide to get with this man when he had a baby on the way with another girl the family was built on an unstable relationship. And that's what she doesn't realize. You cannot start a brand new relationship on a fucked up, faulty ass foundation and then not expect for that house to crack further on down the line. You may be happy for the first year to five years, but then eventually the foundation starts to crack and karma starts to come back, okay? Karma will always come back to bite. It may not be from who you expect it from. It may not be at the time that you expect it, but it will come back and that's what happened to Chloe, okay? At this point in time, she needs to let Tristan go, let Tristan do his thing, sling that damn Jamaican beef stick everywhere, honey, okay? Let him live his best damn life, and then you need to go on and just go raise your child, okay? Because I'm tired of this whole shit. Now, as of today, Chloe has come out and she said some more stuff because people are still dragging her. So now she's speaking. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So Chloe is saying, I have moved on with my life, and I count my blessings, my family, my health, and my beautiful baby true. Then she said, what's been harder and more painful is being hurt by someone so close to me, someone whom I love and I treat like a little sister, but Jordan is not to be blamed for the breakup of my family. This was Tristan's fault. Then she says, this has been an awful week and I know everyone is sick of hearing about it, as am I. I'm a roller coaster of emotions and I have said some things I shouldn't have. Honestly, Tristan cheating on me and humiliating me wasn't such a shock as the first time. About time you woke up, Chloe, okay? And it's sad that it took black Twitter and the internet dragging your ass nonstop for the past 24 hours for you to realize that, okay? Jordan Woods did not break up your family. You fucked up your family when you got with that man in the situation that you got with that man in, okay? And that's the problem with a lot of females out here. A lot of females are so desperate to have a man that they'll take a piece of a man just to say that they have a man, okay? As a woman who has her own business, who has her own bag, who's well-to-do. There's no reason why you should have to settle for a man who has a baby on the way with another woman. So that shows me how low Chloe's self-esteem is, okay? And that's why she was so quick to blame Jordan Woods because she didn't like what was staring back at her in the mirror. I think that Chloe, at this point in time, you need to go do some self-reflecting, raise your self-esteem, having money, having, you know, all types of plastic surgery, you know, the best hair, makeup team, that means nothing if what's in here is shattered, depressed, and lonely, okay? She has very low self-esteem for her to even entertain this type of relationship. A woman with a higher sense of self-worth would have been like, oh, you got a baby on the way? I'm good. And that's it. But she chose to entertain the bullshit. And see, when you entertain bullshit and when you're willing to settle, that man is not going to take you seriously. If you're willing to settle with him when he had a baby on the way with a whole nother girl, what makes you think he's about to be faithful to you? If he could cheat on her with you, he can cheat on you, okay? 
So I hope that Chloe learns from this, that she moves on from Tristan third trimester Thompson, and she finds a man who truly loves her for her, who's not in a relationship, who's, who doesn't have kids on the way, who's solely single and really wants to be with her. Because at this point in time, it was okay. It was never cute, but it was okay when it was just you. But now that you have your daughter, you need to be very, very mindful of the men that you bring around her, and you need to set an example for her what it is to be a woman and how to have respect for other women. You know, and I think that's what I take away from this entire our fucked up situation is that so many times we are so quick to shit on each other as women we don't have respect for other women we'll throw other women under the bus for a man and I think that's the saddest part that this was a whole sisterhood this was somewhat of a family that has now been fractured and broken because of a no good man who was never faithful from the damn jump okay so that's what I take away from this situation. So to me, Jordan Woods, she definitely had a hand in this. She's not innocent to me. Like I said, I see through all the tears and all the nonsense. Give me the meat of the story. She definitely had a hand in this. Chloe definitely had a hand in this. The rest of the Kardashians, Malika, Larissa, none of y'all are innocent. So all y'all need a tall glass to shut the fuck up. Kylie just needs to keep on eating her damn food. And if she chooses to still be cool with Jordan, that's fine. That's their business. If she chooses to side with her family, that's her business as well. But this entire situation was crazy as hell. All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on this entire messy ass situation, honey, concerning the Kardashians, the Jenners, and Jordan Woods' interview on Red Table. Talk. Are you guys feeling it? Do you feel like Jordan Woods was being honest? Do you feel like she's lying? Do you feel like there's more to the story? And then how do you feel about how Chloe reacted? And then now today she's apologizing because she's seen the error of her ways. Let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces. Deuces.